Today, so today we proceed to a uh, clock problem. So usually if we are to analyze uh, clock problems, we express our answer in terms of uh, minutes. So uh, let us first observe, for example, uh, with, uh, the number 12 and a uh, 1. So how many divisions do we have between these uh, uh, between numbers? So obviously from 12 to 1, this corresponds to 5 uh, divisions. So how many divisions do we have for the entire analog clock? That is the same as uh, 5 times a 12. You may consider the entire clock corresponds to uh, 60 divisions. Alright? So all of the clock that corresponds to uh, 60 divisions. Let us consider one of the hand of the clock. Uh, let's say this is uh, the minute hand. Uh, for example, the minute hand uh, is to complete one cycle uh, around the clock. So the minute hand uh, traveled 60 divisions. Then let us observe what will be the movement of the R hand. Uh, so let's say this is uh, the minute hand. If the minute hand completed 60 divisions, or at least one cycle around the clock, okay, the R hand, which is uh, the shorter one, will now be pointing. Let's, for example, we started at 12 o'clock. So after one, uh, one cycle of the minute hand or 60 divisions, okay, the R hand is now pointing to a 1. So how many divisions do we have from 12 to 1? This corresponds to 5 divisions. So if we have the ratio of the movement of the minute hand and the R hand, so minute hand to R hand, after traveling 60 divisions for the minute hand, the R hand traveled 5 divisions. So we have the ratio of the minute hand, or of the movement of the minute hand to the movement of the R hand is basically equal to uh, 12. So one proportion is full for clock problem analysis. And we are to consider the third hand. For example, the second hand completed one cycle okay, uh, around the clock that corresponds to 60 divisions. Okay, so how many divisions uh, did the minute hand cover if the second hand covered 60 divisions? So obviously, uh, the minute hand will move only one division. So we have the proportion of the movement of the second hand to the movement of the move of the minute hand is simply equal to uh, 60. So another proportion I uh, used to analyze lock problems. So let's have one example. So let's have our uh, first example. So at what time between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. will the hands of the clock be coincident? If you say uh, coincident, they are pointing on the, on the same direction or uh, one hand of the clock is over the other. So let's have uh, first, let us establish our reference time. Usually our reference time is the uh, earlier time given. And that is... We can have our reference time to be uh, 4 o'clock. This is our uh, reference time. Do we know how many divisions from 12 to 4? So again, uh, the, number of stay, uh, the number of divisions be in between two numbers is uh, 5. So from 12 to 4 corresponds to 20 divisions or 20 minutes. Okay? So let us imagine that the minute hand will move or will point Okay, now between 4 and uh, 5. So the minute hand will move from 12 up to a point between, so let's say between 4 and uh, 5. At the same time, at the same time, the R hand will move up to, okay, let's say, up to the R coincident with, uh, coincident with uh, the minute hand. So let's say they are now pointing on the same uh, direction. So this a uh, small distance covered by the R hand is the say we express this uh, distance as h, and uh, the number of divisions covered by the minute hand we express this one as m. Okay, after that we establish our uh, equation. What's the equivalent of m? When the equivalent of m or the number of minutes is equal to twenty, this is twenty plus the number of divisions covered by the R hand. So from 4, let's say the R hand will slightly move up to a point that uh, they are uh, coincident with the 
at minitan. So let us plus uh, h. So why not do we have the proportion m over h is equal to a 12. So what is the equivalent of h in terms of m? The value of h. And we can have the value of h as simply m divided by, this is m over a 12. So let us substitute the equivalent of h from our first or initial equation. The value of the minutes is equal to 20 plus h, but h is the number of minutes divided by a 12. We multiply both sides of the equation by 12. This is the same as 12 times the minutes. 12 times 20 is equal to 240 plus the minutes. Then we have 12 m minus m is equal to 11 m is equal to 240. Dividing both sides of the equation by 11, so we have now the number of minutes is equal to 240 divided by 11, and this is equal to, what is 240 over 11? It is the same as 21, 21.818 minutes. So therefore, the, uh, we are looking for the time, since that is past 4, okay, our answer will be, okay, the time will be uh, 4, next is minutes, we have 21.818. So this will be the time that the hands of the clock be coincident. So this will be our answer. So let's have the same problem, but this time we have to use uh, another uh, solution. Uh, so we may use the Padilla's equation. The Padilla's equation is the number of minutes go to twice uh, 2 over 11. This is multiplied by the angle uh, reference, uh, plus or minus. This is the angle uh, required. Uh, in this equation, you have to use addition if the minute hand will be ahead of the R hand. You have to use minus if the minute hand will be behind of the uh, R hand. So first, let us establish our uh, reference. But by the way, so what will be the uh, measurement of the angle between two uh, numbers? So basically, okay, around the clock is the same as 360 degrees. How many uh, divisions? Uh, for example, we are just consider the, num the numbers. Is we have 12 hours, that is equal to uh, 30 degrees. The angle between numbers is uh, 30 degrees, or but still, this corresponds to 5 divisions in terms of uh, minutes. Okay? So, again, let us first establish our angle uh, reference. Our angle reference is okay, our reference time that is at 4 o'clock. So for a clock, if we have 30 degrees per division, or that is between two numbers, this is uh, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and 120 degrees. So this angle is the same as 120, or that is 4 times uh, 30 degrees. So our angle reference is 120 uh, degrees. What will be our angle required? So let's say this is the required angle that will give us the final time. If we say coincident, so again this is okay, after after the movement of the minute hand and the R hand that they are now coincident. If we say coincident, okay, one, uh, one hand is over the other hand. Which means the angle between the R hand, the angle between the hands of the clock will be zero. Okay, so therefore, let us determine the number of uh, minutes. Let's go to twice over 11 or 2 over 11 multiplied by what is our reference angle? 120 degrees. If they are to be coincident, which means that is the same as a 0 degree. So we'll be having the number of minutes equal to 2 times 120 is the same as 240 divided by 11 that will give us 21 point. 818 uh, minutes. And again, since we are looking for the time after 4 p.m., our answer and for the time, this is at 4, uh, 21.818. That will be the answer. So, 421.818 p.m.
So using Padilla's equation. Okay, so let's have this uh, example. In how many minutes after the clock will the hands of the clock extend in opposite directions for the uh, first time? So let us first establish our uh, reference time. So let's say our reference time will be uh, 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. So let us imagine that the minute hand will move. Okay, so the approximate location or a point of the minute hand will be, uh, say, in this direction. Okay, so this will be uh, the number of divisions covered by the uh, minute hand from 12 up to this. Uh, point. So at the same time, okay, the R hand will also uh, move, but it will slightly move. Uh, let's say okay, the R hand is now pointing in this uh, direction. They are pointing in opposite uh, direction. So the number of divisions covered by the minute hand will be expressed as uh, M. What will be the equivalent of M this time? So in the same way, uh, this will be the number of divisions covered by the uh, R hand. So do we know how many minutes from 12 to okay, from 12 to 2? How many minutes is that? Or how many divisions? We have a uh, 10. Do we know how many divisions is this? If we have okay, if we have half of the uh, clock, since this is a straight line, this is the same as 180 degrees or corresponds to 30 divisions. So what is the equivalent of M? Let us establish our equation. The equivalent of M, or the number of minutes, is basically equal to 10. And it is from, from 12 to 2. Then the movement of the hand, uh, of the R hand, that is plus H. Then since they are now pointing uh, on opposite, uh, pointing or extending on the opposite direction, they form an angle of 180 degrees or corresponds to 30 divisions since the entire clock is uh, 60 divisions. So half is 30. So plus, this is plus uh, 30. So you have the number of minutes is so equal to 40 plus uh, H. So again, what is the equivalent or what is the ratio of the minute hand to the R hand, a movement that is the same as 12. So we can have the equivalent of the R hand equal to uh, the movement of the R hand equal to the minute hand over uh, 12. So let us just substitute. We have the number of minutes is now equal to 40 plus the equivalent of H is M over uh, 12. So multiplying both sides of the equation by uh, 12, this is 12 M. So equal to what is 12 times 40, this is equal to 480 plus uh, m. So again, 12m minus m is 11m equal to 480. Dividing both sides of the equation by 11, we can have now the number of minutes. So what is uh, 480 divided by 11? Uh, this is equal to 43. Uh, 43.636 minutes and this will be our answer since the record is how many minutes after 2 o'clock will the hands of the clock extend in the opposite uh, direction so the number of minutes required is 43.636 minutes Okay, again, so let us analyze the same problem using uh, the Padilla's equation. So we have that is uh, the number of minutes equal to 2 over 11 multiplied by your angle reference, okay, plus or minus uh, the angle uh, required. Okay, so let us establish our reference. So we have our reference will be 2 o'clock. Okay, so what is this angle? So our angle uh, reference is equal to, okay, so we have 30 between two numbers, so that is 30 plus 30, obviously this is uh, 60 degrees, that will be our uh, reference angle. What will be our angle uh, required 
if according to the problem, so the clock extends in opposite uh, direction. So again, let's say this is uh, the number of divisions to be covered by the minute hand. So let us assume it is pointing in on this uh, direction and the R hand is pointing in the opposite direction. So since they are now pointing on the opposite direction, okay, so again they, they form a straight line, this is 180 degrees. So the angle required is 180 degrees. So the question is, are we going to add or subtract? So it is expected that the minute hand is now ahead of the... So the minute hand is ahead of the R hand. So we are going to use plus, okay? So again, you are going to use plus sign if the minute hand will be ahead of the R hand. So the number of minutes is now equal to 2 divided by 11. This is multiplied by our reference angle is 60 plus our required angle is 180 degrees. So we have the number of minutes equal to 2 over 11, that is 60 plus 180, this is equal to 240. Number of minutes. 2 times 240 is equal to 480 divided by 11. So the number of minutes is equal to, what is this value again? So well, that's what this is, 480 divided by 11. So we have the same answer of 43.636 minutes. And this will be our answer. It will take uh, 43.636 minutes uh, for the hands of the clock, extend or pointing on the opposite. Direction. This will be our 